Welcome back to the sawmill, guys. This morning, before we get started, I need to go jump in the tractor and unload that out of the bed of the truck. Hang in there with me, guys. It's gonna be a good day. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, let me run through the breeze Like the leaves on the trees Let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene like a cool water stream that runs from the mountain so tall oh take me back down the old dirt road guys up here at the tractor and I forgot I got a pallet of hard maple here I need to take over to the drying stack and I got a question in the last video about stickers I placed my stickers which is these things right here if you're not familiar with that term I put my stickers on 16 inch center so every 16 inches you got a sticker right there and these are eight foot packs which means you got seven stickers per pack Right there you have the pallet on the bottom. That's an open face pallet. I'll show you guys one of those next time I get one out. I've been doing this for about going on 12 years now and 16 inches is the best spacing that I've found for stickers. Some people do it on 24 inches. I think 16 inches is the best. And I use, a little mama cap. I use one by threes. You get these from Lowe's or Home Depot. Little fern strips, they're eight feet long. Just cut them in half. And they are kiln dry. That's one thing that's very important. When you get stickers, you want to make sure they're dry. Don't use green stickers on wet wood, guys. It's not a good idea. You'll get sticker stain and all kinds of problems. Friends, I need to address something here real fast. I get this question in the comments at least once a week. And uh, I can't believe I'm even talking about this. But uh, people ask me all the time, why do you wear a belt and suspenders both when they both basically do the same thing? Well, here's the reason why. Number one, I wear suspenders because it does hold my pants up and I'm bending over a lot and doing stuff up here at the mill and running a chainsaw and uh, I don't know, you just kind of feel a bit more secure when you wear suspenders around equipment, or, or I do at least. 
and that may sound crazy, but it, you know, it makes sense to me, put it that way. And the reason I wear a belt is because I wear a Leatherman on my side every day. I don't go anywhere without a Leatherman. And over here on the other side, I've got a holster for my measuring tape. And if you're interested in this holster, I bought this on Amazon. It's, called, it's by uh, Occidental. I'm probably butchering that name. It's in my Amazon store. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in that. But it's a great holster for your measuring tape. And uh, I wear it all the time. Only thing you got to do on this stuff, though, is uh, take the clip off of your measuring tape. If you leave that clip on there, it's kind of tight. You take it off, it falls right in. And uh, it's a really good little accessory for your belt. But anyways, getting back to what I was talking about, that's why I wear suspenders and a belt both. Now that implement that we just unloaded out of the truck, that's made by Homestead Implements. That's a new grapple that I got. And I told you guys about that a few weeks ago. I mentioned here on one of the videos, I was going to order a new grapple and it came in Friday. And we'll get that thing hooked up to the TYM tomorrow and check it out and do a full day of moving logs around, moving some trash down to the burn pile and some other stuff. And we'll see how good it does. I think it's gonna be a good grapple. It's a huge improvement over my other one because it has two hydraulic cylinders. So we'll talk about that grapple in great detail tomorrow. I'm looking forward to using that. So right here in the sawmill, guys, is a nasty old sugar maple. The reason I'm saying it's nasty is because there's knots all over this cut. This was probably the third or fourth cut out of this tree. It's an eight footer. Let me put my coffee down so I don't spill it. The diameter is about the same on both ends and we're looking at about 16 inches. So uh, not a bad log. We'll probably do five quarter boards and see how it goes. If I start to see spalting, I'll stop the camera and show it to you guys. If I keep going, that means we're not seeing nothing really interesting to show here. But uh, how many do I have over there? I got nine more of these hard maples to saw guys. And it's about 4.30, so we're just going to keep sawing here and see what we can get done before it gets dark.